the Indian Air Force, a name well known by the world for its most strategic defense planning and sound capabilities of honor and respect. Every officer here has blood running in his veins for this country. For aspirants like us, flying is a dream come true. That flying is an obsession, it is one of the most highest responsibilities of us to guard this nation's territory. Our skies breathe the air of the warriors that gave their heart and soul to this land. Having a knowledge of our Air Force is thus vital. Hello and welcome to SSB Grac Exams. I am Heeman and now we are going to discuss in detail about the commands of the Indian Air Force. Before beginning, I would like to remind you that SSB Crack Exams is India's largest defense exams preparation portal and is one-stop solution for every aspirant who is studying for defense exams. We have the courses for NDA, CDS, AFCAT, INET, Airmen Group X and Group Y and the Territorial Army also. You can even follow us in YouTube at SSB Crack Exams, in Instagram as SSB Crack Exams and you can also directly visit us through learn.ssbcrackexams.com. You can even download our app from Google Play Store by typing SSB Crack Exams also and you can please follow us through Telegram also. Before beginning, we will have a complete review about the quick facts about the Indian Air Force that the basic thing which you have to remember is that Indian Air Force is the air arm of the Indian Armed Forces and it is the fourth most powerful air force of the world. The primary mission is to secure Indian airspace and conduct aerial warfare during the armed conflict. It is established on 8 October 1932 as an auxiliary air arm of the British Armed Forces as the Royal Indian Air Force but after independence that means after 1947 through the Air Force Act of the from the parliament the prefix Royal was removed and then our Indian Air Force came into existence. One other thing that you have to remember that Indian Air Force has participated in four wars with Pakistan and in one war with China and it has done many operations that have been successful. Also work, it also works in the United Nations peacekeeping missions and the Supreme Commander of the Indian Air Force is the President of India. Indian Air Force has as of now uh, around uh, 1,39,576 active personnel in 2007 and this number has been increased by now. Now we shall have the quick review about the commands of the Indian Air Force. Indian Air Force is divided into five operational and two functional commands where every command is headed by an Air Officer Commanding in Chief where we can even shortly call him as AOC in C. The rank of an Air Officer Commanding in Chief is actually the Air Marshal and below him lie the senior air staff officer, the senior maintenance staff officer, the senior officer in charge of administration. So what are operational commands and what are functional commands? The operational commands are those which conduct military operations within their areas of responsibility. That means these commands are those which conduct any kind of military operations. Functional commands do not conduct any military operations but they help and they keep all the operational commands and various task forces of the Indian Air Force combat ready. That means the functional commands include the maintenance command and the training command. Both of these make up those things which are responsible for the operation commands so that the, all the other commands also will be benefited due to this. Let us begin with the first command of the Indian Air Force and that is Prayagraj. The Central Air Command Prayagraj is initially raised at Rani Kuti near Calcutta and it is shifted it, uh, its headquarters to Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh. Now Allahabad is renamed as Prayagraj and it is actually begun in 1966. Prayagraj uh, Air Command controls the central, uh, all the air operations in all of the central India from Delhi to Bengal. This command was reduced in its size with the establishment of Southern Air Command. So before Southern Air Command, the Central Air Command used to conduct all the air operations completely but now the Southern Air Command has been come up. The Southern Air Command is a very newest command, we will be speaking about it also. Some of the most important permanent bases of the Central Air Command include Agra, Bareilly, Gorakhpur, Allahabad, Gwalior, Nagpur and Kanpur. So if you look up at the map of India, so this is the general way where the all of the airspace that has been covered by the Central Air Command has been representing. So please uh, note down that this particular representation is only for reference and it is not true or it is not compulsory that all of this Air Force is actually black area covered by it. It is for your reference to understand. We will also go in detail about the Central Air Command Prayagraj. The Air Defence Squadrons consist of the Mirage 2000, the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI 
and the Jaguar aircrafts. The transport command has aircrafts like Antonov AN-32, the IL-76MD and the Dornier DO-228 which are used in the utility role also. Helicopter squadrons include the Mi-8 helicopters, the Mi-17 and the heavy lift Mi-26 helicopters too. The motto of the Central Air Command Prayagraj is Damaniya Atma Shatravaha which means vanquish the enemy in Sanskrit. So that is it about the Central Air Command and the Central Air Command has been headed. The current Air Officer Commanding in Chief is Air Marshal Rajesh Kumar AVSM BM ADC and he is the current AOC in C about of the Central Air Command. Now we shall go for the next Air Command that is the Eastern Air Command which is located in Shillong in Meghalaya. First raised in Rani Kutiri in Calcutta, this particular command was shifted to Tezpur in 1963. And by the end of 1963, this particular headquarters was shifted to Shillong. In if we speak something about the history of the Eastern Air Command, as the legend goes, there was a normally a village which was the location as of now, which is the location of the headquarters of the Eastern Air Command. It was once inhibited by the Khasi clan of Meghalaya. During the Second World War, this particular area was taken over by the Britishers to develop their own military base. In 1947, Indian military took this particular command and made it into number 58 Gorkha Regiment. This regiment actually moved to Chinese border in 1962 and unfortunately, they didn't return back to their place in Upper Shillong. So with this, this particular strategic location which had an helipad was conducted which was taken by the Indian Air Force and in 1980, it was made as Eastern Air Command with full powers. So, Eastern Air Command controls all the air operations in the Eastern sector which includes the West Bengal areas, the Assam, the Mizoram and the other Eastern states bordering the Bangladesh, Burma and Tibet. Permanent air bases uh, are there at Chabua, Guwahati, Bagdogara, Barakpur, Hashmira, Jorhat, Kalaikunda and Tezpur with forward bases at Agartala, Calcutta, Panagar and Shillong. So, this is the general representation of the airspace which has been covered by the Eastern Air Command Shillong. The Eastern Air Command features the air defense quadrants consisting of Sukhoi Su-30 MKI aircrafts, the Avro 748M and C-130J Hercules and AN-32 aircrafts where the Avro C-130J and AN-32 aircrafts are transport aircrafts. There are many helicopters here because this particular area is strategically located where many mountains are there. So helicopters make a lot of use here and Mi-8, Mi-17, HAL Dhruv and HAL Chetak are the helicopters operating here. The motto of the Eastern Air Command Shillong is Samareshu Parakramaha which means victory in battle. The Eastern Air Command has been headed by the Air Officer Commanding in Chief of it as Air Marshal Rajiv Dayal Mathur. He has won the Param uh, Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal and Vayu Sena Medal also and he is the current AOC in Chief of the Eastern Air Command. Next comes the Western Air Command which is located in the New Delhi which is one of the most important air commands because it is located in New Delhi and it has been pa main participant in the wars with the Pakistan. Western Command was raised as number one operational group on independence 27th September 1947 after independence. So in 1949, it was Indian Air Force's Western Command which was redesignated as the Operations Command but in 1962, with the rising of the Central Air Command, Operations Command was renamed as the Western Air Command. So Western Air Command is most important of the five regional commands and some of the major operations handled by this command previously were Kashmir operations in 1947-48, the Sino-Indian conflict of 1962, the Indo-Pak war of the 1965, the Indo-Pak war of 1971, where the Bangladesh came into existence, the Operation Pavan in 1986, which was done with Sri Lanka and the Operation Safed Sagar in 1999, which includes the Kargil war. It conducts air operations north of Jaipur, including the capital and Punjab, from Kashmir and South Rajasthan and there are air operations groups at Udhampur Air Force Base formed in 1982 specially dedicated to the defense of Jammu and Kashmir and this includes Ladakh also. This is the area covered by the Western Air Command generally and if we go more detail into it, there is an advanced headquarters located near the Army's Western Command at Chandigarh where Chandigarh also has the advanced air command headquarters and also the permanent air bases are there at Adampur. 
अंबाला अवंतीपुर चंडीगढ़ हलवारा हिंदन ले पालम श्रीनगर एंड पठानकोट विथ फॉरवर्ड बेस्ड सपोर्ट यूनिट एफ पी एस यूज एट अमृतसर भटिंडा सरसावा सिरसा सियाशन ग्लेशियर एंड उधमपुर Western Air Commands have aircrafts operating which include the MiG-21, MiG-21 Bison, Dassault Rafale, MiG-29s, Sukhoi Su-30 MKIs and Jaguars. Some other transport aircrafts also include Avro 748, the Dornier aircrafts, IL-76 AN-32 aircrafts also. Helicopters include the MI-26 or Chinook, HAL Cheetah, HAL Dhruv and Boeing Apache which is very latest and MI-17 also. The motto of the Western Air Command is Akasha Pasmat Soma. The Western Air Command uh, Air Officer Commanding in Chief is Air Marshal B Suresh uh, PVSM AVSM VM ADC and now we will go for the next air command that is the Southern Air Command which is the latest of all the air commands which is located in Thiruvananthapuram in Kerala born on 19th July 1984 out of the changed geopolitical situation around Southern Peninsula this particular command compared to other commands for the defense this is made for the strategic uh, protection for our island territories and maritime trade and security which has to be maintained because indian ocean is that particular area where all of the india's uh, maritime borders and security has to be controlled and during 1980s there were many attempts to destabilize the coastal states and in the sri lankan ethnic problems were also there so such kind of situations compelled the indian air force to establish one new strategic command so with this the accordingly in 20th july 1984 shrimati indira gandhi the then prime minister inaugurated the headquarters of southern air command at trivandrum at belhaven palace which is an old palace of maharaja of travancore and this particular palace has been used as the southern air command's headquarters initially the command exercised over five larger units and in a very short span of 15 years from 1984 the command has grown and by now it has 17 larger units under its jurisdiction southern air command's uh, uh, aircrafts include the an32 aircraft the hcl tejas and sukhoi su30 mkis helicopters include the mi8 mi17 v5 and it has its bases in sulur tanjavur and kar nicobar in the andaman and nicobar islands the motto of tiruvananthapuram's southern air command Thiruvan southern air command tiruvananthapuram is antariksham prashasmahe which means we command the space and this is the generic representation of the air space covered by the southern air command air marshal amit tiwari avsm vsm is the current air officer commanding in chief of the southern air command now we shall go for the next strategic air command and that is the southwestern air command located at gandhinagar in gujarat south western air command was converted from number one operations group of western air command which was previously located at jodhpur in may 1998 iaf moved its headquarters to gandhinagar it controls its air operations in south western air sector which includes most of rajasthan south through gujarat to saurashtra and kutch to pune its task has been largely air defense however it is now reported to have a strike mission profile also it has its permanent air bases at bhuj Jaisalmer, Nalia, Jamnagar, Jodhpur, Barmer and Pune with forward air bases at Ahmedabad, Nal, Suratgarh and Uttarlai. This is the generic representation of the Southwestern Air Command's air space and to go more in detail about the Southwestern Air Command Gandhinagar, it has the air defense squadrons which consist of MiG-21s, MiG-29s, the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI aircrafts and it, the ground attack squadrons include the MiG-23 aircrafts also. it has maritime attack squadrons which consists of jaguars and the transport aircrafts include the avro 748m il 76md helicopters include mi8 hcl chetak mi35 and the motto of the south western air command gandhinagar is jay shri varate viram which means victory embraces always the brave the air marshal surendra kumar ghutia pvsm vsm is the current aoc in c of the south western air command Now with this we have completed the operational commands of the Indian Air Force we shall now go for the functional command of the Indian Air Force and the first most important functional command of Indian Air Force is the training command which is located in Bengaluru jisko hindi mein bolte hain prashikshan command and training command traces out its lineage from the number 2 training group which was set up immediately by the Indian Air Force after independence training command was redesignated as 
training uh, training group was really training command in 1949 although its headquarters is located at jc nagar bangalore karnataka most of the flying and ground training establishments are in central and southern india which i will be covering with you in the coming up lecture videos here and the motto of the training command is tamasoma jyotirgamaya which means lead us from the darkness to the light the next important command that we have to discuss is about the maintenance command which is located at nagpur The maintenance command was raised as maintenance group at Chakeri in Kanpur and in 1955 from 1950 it was there in Kanpur in 1955 it was redesignated as maintenance command its current headquarters is at Vayu Sena Nagar in Nagpur it handles the repair overhaul and maintenance of all particular aircraft helicopters and other equipment through its nine base repair depots where are all those nine base repair depots sir it has nine bed base repair depots at kanpur gwalior chandigarh coimbatore tuglakabad pune ojhar and jodhpur two are located in kanpur so it completely has around nine base repair depots so the motto of the maintenance command nagpur is sarvada gagane charetu it means always flying in the sky if you have to go through the current all of the air commands the air commands are included here in this particular map which you can see the prayagraj as central air command the gandhinagar as south western air command the tiruvananthapuram as southern air command bengaluru as training command nagpur as a headquarters of the maintenance command headquarters of western air command at new delhi and shillong being the headquarters of the eastern air command with this we have finished the discussion of all the air commands in general i will be covering with you regarding more informations of the aircraft on the of the indian air force what all different things are going on with it of all of the indian navy also i will be covering up in the next particular lectures and all stay tuned with us subscribe to ssb crack exams channel download our app in your mobiles and please go through all of our lectures very seriously because this is the only way where you can improve and we are providing what all things which we can provide it to you i wish and hope that all of you watching this particular video become commissioned officers in future and serve our nation in the most respectable way and you become the most forward important uh, personalities of our particular nation's future wish you all the best jai hind and stay safe stay healthy